Hi, I'm Barry Houston Phillips. For years, on my own, I've gone into museums with a camera crew and reviewed shows, talked to curators, talked to artists, talked to people in the museum about what was going on in a particular show and exhibit at a museum at that time. I think for me as an interviewer, to ask the question that's never been asked before is the biggest thrill of all. The descriptive adjectives that you just gave to the painting, the card players, is this a direct relationship between the two? Is this coincidental? Now that's a very good point. In fact, I think you're the first person to make that alignment. How do you deal and what do you say to people that walk in, look at your painting and go, I don't understand. What is it? I was in the Dallas Museum yesterday and a young woman walked up to a Monet and she said, what's that? I could do that. And that's Monet. The one person I want to talk about though today, I, I want to get right to because he's the one that influenced me. He taught me to think out of the box. That's Andy Warhol. In a particular series that he did in 1963 called the Saturday Night Disaster Series, it, it, it just took me and it said, look at me. I am worth looking at, not as uh, a headline, but as something of our culture. In this week's segment of The Best Picture Show with film reviewer Barry Phillips, he's telling us all about the movie The Devil Wears Prada. What if you're looking for a good old punch in the gut about the reality of New York high fashion and high drama, then The Devil Wears Prada just might do it for you. In fact, I think it could be its own reality show. And yet I was able to adapt to a different style, such as Gene's style. The, uh, the debate over Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire the best dancer, the most gifted. You cannot compare them, you see. There's no way you can compare because they were both so great. Kinsey is a delicate look at the man, Alfred Kinsey, who was both blamed and praised and revered and ignored for blazing new trails in sexual research, never examined before by anyone in the world. So why a wrecking yard? Because I think Andy Warhol would think this is the greatest place on earth. You know, all the years I've been going to museums, I've really learned one thing. It's that museums really are just a place for everybody to get together and look at things. Andy Warhol, eat your heart out. Sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia, gentle to the ladies all the time. When it comes to loving, he's a real professor, yes, sir. just amazing Dixie Valentine.